Good afternoon folks, Joe here with Family Porties. And again, we have a litter update. This one is Chloe's litter, so we'll get to that here in just a minute. But folks, we have a, such a passion here at Family Porties to raise Portuguese water dogs, and we love what we do and animals in general. Here in Walnut Creek, Ohio, we love to, to be around the animals and to raise these uh, Portuguese water dogs so you can enjoy them just like we do. And uh, we'll get to Chloe's litter here in just a minute. But if uh, you want to subscribe to YouTube and our YouTube channel, you can do that right at the bottom of the screen. You can also leave a comment of uh, which puppy is your favorite, which color is your favorite of Chloe's litter. We want to hear your favorites and uh, just let us know what you like about Chloe's litter. Again, we're going to get into Chloe's litter here on Family Porties. And first one is five females and three males. It's a little different from Jasmine's litter. It's the opposite. Jasmine had five males and three females. Five females and three males. This is a female. She's black and white. As you can see her, nice size puppy. If you look at her feet, she has some white tips on her feet and on her back, or on her back feet as well. As you can see some white underneath on her as well. But this is one of the black females. And if you look at her tail, pretty solid black tail for one of Chloe's females. And we'll go to another one here. She has uh, some white and chocolate ones. This is a nice size white and chocolate female. Uh, one really neat feature about these, if you look at their feet, you can see the chocolate coming out in their feet. Um, that's a really cool feature for Portuguese water dogs. And if you look underneath here, she's pretty much white all underneath um, is this little female. Brown tail, little white tip there as well for this female. For Chloe's litter, Again, we're talking about Chloe's litter here today, a litter update. Uh, these guys were born on April 17th, so they will be able to go home sometime in the early to mid-June. I got another white with chocolate female, uh, has a nice white tip or a white half tail, some chocolate on her tail as well, and then a nice color on the underside of her as well. These, uh, these girls are pretty active. Unlike Jasmine's litter, the girls were kind of quiet and sleeping. The boys are sleeping on this litter. We'll get to them in just a minute. Next female we have in Chloe's litter is a white and black. She has the black on her, with the black on the back and on her head a little bit, and even down on her tail. And then you got the black and chocolate coming out on her feet as well, as you can see there on the, on, on the tips of her feet. Really cool feature here. And of course, the white underside of this one. As these girls are always moving around and trying to, trying to find something to play with, as this one here is trying to get over here. Let's get her, let's get her back in her bed and see what she does. And we'll go to the final female of the litter. We have a white with chocolate, a little bit of chocolate on her butt there, as you can see, goes down into her tail. You have a little, almost like eyes and a nose on her back. It's kind of cool, two eyes and a nose here uh, for this one. And then they have some chocolate on her head as well. Again, the chocolate's coming out in her feet. That's a really cool feature, a really neat coloring aspect of these family porties of this litter here for Chloe's litter. So that's gonna do it for the females of the litter. We'll get to the males here in just a second. And I'm not sure I wanna wake up the boys here. They're sleeping over here and talking in their sleep, but this is a pretty chocolate male right here. Uh, he's got some white on his feet, as you can see here, maybe mixing in with the blanket there but uh, underneath as well, maybe a little bit of white on his chest as he is a good dark chocolate color uh, porty uh, for Chloe's litter. We have four picks on this litter already, which is kind of cool. That means half the litter is spoken for. Selection day is gonna come up on May 15th for Chloe's litter. Uh, we have the Uman family, uh, Jacqueline Jimison, Gordon Kay, and the Sutter family all have picks on this litter. And that's coming up uh, next Saturday, a week from Saturday on May 15th. So we will have uh, the picks selected on that day. Another male in Chloe's litter. We have another black one here. Has the white tips on his feet. 
as you can see him there and then if you look underneath has a little bit of salt uh, and mixed in with his uh, underside there on this uh, male he's a nice sized male uh, porty in Chloe's litter and the final male of the litter we have a white one with black on him as you can see on the back side here he's got some black black on his head as well and he also has some black and chocolate coloring coming out on his feet um, a nice underside pretty much snow white on the underside of this guy so he is a uh, nice size as well the three boys in this litter are a good size uh, porty we uh, we like we like the size of these boys i think they're going to be really really nice dogs again we've been talking about chloe's litter here an update and uh, these guys will be selected uh, coming up here on May 15th and they will get to go home sometime in early June and mid, early to mid June so if you are uh, interested in one of these guys or one of these girls over here make sure you give me a call at 330-621-3917 I would be happy to help you with that process and answer any questions that you would have on Chloe's litter guys thanks so much don't forget to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube like it comment about what you liked of the litter, the favorite colors, or just your favorite puppy in general. And if you have any questions, again, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you again next week.